welcome back to our cafe latte session. Fui, you brought up a very interesting thing called emotion, Definitely. and you were quite emotional about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, can like you give that. us like examples of like yeah on is it on G13 on on the polling day itself or the? I there is a lot of lead up uh, i mean to to you, you see in, in in america i think if you if you um uh, there is a there's a, a polling technique okay whereby we uh actually this technique is being used to actually measure uh people's inclination to vote on an issue one way or the other and uh the weightage that is actually given to hard issues rather than the hit factors actually is given two or three times more uh, a, a weightage in terms of points, you see. So uh, I, I think generally uh, uh, people do vote with with their, with their hearts. I mean, uh, an example would be, you know, I may I may love you, I may not decide to get into my car and go and vote for you. But if I hate you, if I really hate you, I will really make sure that I damn well bloody get into my car and <laughs> go there and vote against you. And that is that is a very very powerful emotion. That, that, that is one example. But as I said, going back, it does not mean that the emotions are not uh, does not concur w with the realities of their own lives. Because uh, in the urban areas, it is actually again maybe perhaps now it's the time to go into this income middle income uh, 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 middle income trap, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is a very very serious issue simply because you're looking at this time round 20 years ago people with three thousand dollar income uh, household income would probably be living quite comfortably in Selangor in Klang Valley but today with three thousand dollars and you've got three kids and you've got a wife that's not working it is really really difficult to survive in the Klang Valley and in the urban areas yeah. And those kind of things can be compounded when you hear of things like, you know, when toll, ri uh, toll, toll, toll goes up and then you have politicians saying the most stupid things and, uh, and basically not resonating with your own so-called suffering in the urban areas, of course, people will get angry. Okay. And it's easy to stir those emotions. Okay, so Teresa, if just say the voters use their head mm. to vote, mm. DAP will have lost more seats. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. I think this time round, you know, after the 2008, the also the so-called tsunami that happened, and people now, they have they can have the chance to compare. In the past five years, the performance of Pakatan Rakyat government in Selangor, in, uh, in Penang, and also uh, and, and Barisan National, and also series of uh, racist, you know, remarks that are being made by politicians and, uh, and also religious issues being pay, play up. And, and of course, when you talk about emotion, there are things that really not not our doing. For example, like we almost cannot use rocket to contest in this general election. That makes so many people so upset. Even I think uh, I'm, I'm pleased to see that some of the UPNO uh, politicians, say, they also say that they, we, should, they sh we should allow uh, DAP to use rocket symbol. I mean, all these things all come together, make people feel that BN is so unfair, unjust. And all this uh, phantom voters thing, Okay, I don't know how are they going to rebut that. How can we have 100 people put in, you know, one house, 60 people? And we all heard all these uh, stories. And, uh, you know, there are also um, evidence here and there that show that uh, some of the, uh, uh, you know, certain kampong, they're all born in uh, with the IC, middle is 71, meaning that they were born overseas. I mean, all this have been, it's not during elections time. Prior to that, one, two years beforehand, we really found out all this evidence and uh, in being never rebutted. And uh, I mean, all this project, I see the hearing, of commis a Royal Commission yeah, hearing of the Pentatang Asing in Sabah. Mm -hmm. Plus, then the invasion of Lahat Datu. All this is not our doing. Like, it's not done by Pakatan Rakyat. It just happened and people see it. People are angry, upset. So I think all this come together. Uh, we, I would think that the peop uh, voters have made an informed uh, uh, what do you call that, decision in this uh, election. Datu, you're, you're the only one from BN. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think some, 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 some are for EC to answer, really. <laughs> but, but, but the point, the point is this: um, I, I, I would admit that there are some elements of emotion. You, you can't, you can you can't just say that there's everybody went to vote with their heads, yeah. But again, uh, I thought Malaysians, yeah, uh, they are quite matured nowadays uh, maybe not 100 percent yeah but if you're looking at the swing votes and again i'm looking at the middle ground the 30 percent the four million 
emotion but not losing their head yeah mm -hmm. seriously yeah they may be angry at uh, am saying yeah but but not to the extent that because okay this is this is how i look at it uh, the small the circle the second circle i'm looking at when it started emerging in 1999 it was really a protest circle yeah but that circle i mean this is not good for bn <laughs> but that circle is becoming quite matured yeah it's becoming quite uh, yeah, it's quite mature, and and it is it is a, a strong circle worthy of seriously looking at. Yeah, and 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 I say, it's not good for BN lah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but this is ha is happening. Yeah, so it's not. I think people are more uh, yeah informed. Uh, people have uh, real reasons. I know there are campaigns like ABU asal bukan amno. Mm. This you can expect from any election. Yeah. But I thought when, when the Pakatan started having their buku jinga, I've really told my colleague, I said, look, this is a serious problem, okay? This is not manifesto, this is beyond manifesto. Yeah? And, and that is why I keep on saying that people, when they voted for the opposition, they have a real alternative in their mind. Not good for BN, yeah? but this is actually how I look at GE13. Mm. ATM? In terms of the emotions. Okay. Um, like what I said just now, um, um, last minute, uh, you know, um, uh, um, information on Twitter or on Facebook that could break the camel's back. I think it's very important to know that uh, first-time voters, um, either they are young or less young like me, I mean, they can their emotion can easily be swayed by misinformation, misinformation because. Uh, well, later it has been proven that that particular person actually was adopted by a Chinese uh, family. So, but harm has been done. So sometimes it's uh, it's good to 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 take um, a break and and you know and 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 try to digest the news whether it's really true or not. Yeah, it's because like a blackout. As yes, well. the same thing. You know, it, it, it's, it's a lot of it is also driven. The yes, anger is driven by yes, a lot of yes, misinformation yes. Not necessarily a bad thing because I think it's good to be emotionally. Um, what I call that excited when you are voting, but you 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 must not lose your your composure. You have to know what you want to vote for. I do agree with what uh, Fu said just now. Uh, it could break the camel's back, but you know, uh, but I think 99% of people who went to vote already knew who they were voting for. Okay, mm. Carol. Coming from the Borneo State, yeah, Sabah, lagi yeah, emotion kan? Broken long ago because <laughs> the evidence, <laughs> the evidence are very clear yeah. in the High Court uh, during the hearing of the Royal Commission of Inquiry. Mm. Evidence after evidence have been proven that uh, the citizenship was overnight for most people, for most of these people. Mm. Now that has always been an allegation before, mm. but now it's a, it has somehow been proven oh, to be oh. the truth. Mm. Um, since we were young, you know, uh, we were always told these guys were coming in and getting their ICs and what have you and voting. Now, you imagine as a person coming from there, Fui and of course Philip, mm. our future is no longer decided by us. <laughs> it's decided by these guys. <laughs> I can say it loud because RCI has proven so in so many times where they said they voted two times, they voted a couple of times, mm. they yeah. voted in 1994, they voted in 2000. How was the emotion of the voters in Binampang when they were voting? They if wanted to. They want this to stop, and they knew that uh, the only way to stop is to change the government. Yeah. Besides yeah. all the other manifestos mentioned by uh, Datu, uh, BN had their manifesto, we had our manifesto. Uh, this probably is that emotional tip which you mentioned. Uh, the emotion is because we want to put things right. Mm. This current one says they want to put it right, but uh, just like a question I've asked in Parliament now, mm. how many have been arrested? How many of them have been charged? Okay. Really? Uh, That's why I feel like I think you, you should have another session just on Sabah issues. Yes. <laughs> it's far too complex. Because I want to talk about how it's not how, how BN won Sabah. I want to say how the opposition lost Sabah. That's probably more like okay. it. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we lost through the ICs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the next question and then we'll be back after this. Sure. Thanks.